the urethra. A lot of people don't even know what that is. The urethra, but it's a organ we better take care of. It's a part of our reproductive, reproductive system. Um, it also ex excretes waste, but it's um, influenced by the planet Pluto, which governs the astrological sign of Scorpio. Um, I don't know if we got any Scorpio. Oh, we got a Scorpio back there. Yeah. Um, it's a tool that connects the urinary bladder through, I mean, a uh, urinary bladder to the urinary meatus for the removal of fluids from the body. The urethra travels through the penis and males and carries the sperm as well as urine. And the female, the urethra, it just carries urine, the urine. But in men, it also carries semen. So it carries urine and semen. So, you know, any tool that carries urine and semen, you might want to make sure your urine is pretty clean. And you think about what type of semen you're going to bring forth. That's just a sidebar. That's just a sidebar itself. If it's running through the same tube, now we got all types of poison coming out of our, our urine. And it's being mixed with the very seed that we bring life on this planet with. And we wonder why our children are crazy. We wonder why they off the chain, tearing this earth up. Because we producing some poisonous babies. Straight up. So, um, the urethra, again, um, Pluto, when you understand um, the astrological sign of Scorpio or the, end, the um, effects of Pluto, that deals with reproduction. And when we understand reproduction, it doesn't just mean um, having children, right? It also means to reproduce yourself. To reproduce yourself. Meaning, when you start studying and practicing different methods of um, particularly for the male and the female as well, um, taking your, your body fluids, your bodily fluids, okay, during sex, and reabsorbing them back in the body to replenish yourself, okay? In fact, there's a lot of ancient, well, you know, not even ancient, there are people, but there's a lot of Asians, you know, they call it chi, they suggest that you really should not even ejaculate First of all, you really shouldn't ejaculate, period, unless you're having a child. That's number one. Okay. No, my grandpa, like, he didn't ejaculate or whatever, and it's like, he was like, oh, like the same size as like baseball. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, yeah. and he was a really healthy person. Yeah, he so, had a big ball. No, it was because <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't ejaculate. He didn't ejaculate. That's why we, that's why we saw fast men. We don't have no balls. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we waste it, we just get rid of like the cheat. We get rid of it. But there's certain Asian, you know, practices where, first of all, scientifically, you really should not ejaculate or release that semen unless you're giving birth or striving to bring forth, you know, child. It should really be reabsorbed and used because that same energy, that same seed that produces life on the planet, when you understand how powerful that is, bring forth light, you understand that if that's then used in your own body, how then you can then reproduce yourself, how you can regenerate yourself.